This is James with Net News Ledger. Joining us by phone from Queen's Park is Ontario Premier Doug Ford. We're going to be asking the Premier some questions about the issues that affect us here in northwestern Ontario. Here's the Premier. Hi, James. How are you doing? Hey, Premier Ford. Welcome in to Net News Ledger and a virtual trip to Northern Ontario. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on. The uh, province is opening slowly. Here in the north, we've seen a little bit of a jump in the COVID test numbers for Kenora, Sioux Lookout, and Thunder Bay. What advice do you have for people in the province? Well, I think it's absolutely critical. And I, I looked at the numbers this morning. I think there's a Sioux... Uh, Look out, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think there are six active cases, two yes. cases, uh, new cases today, and then Thunder Bay, there's three active uh, cases as, as well. Uh, my, my number one goal, uh, or, or rule, I should say, is the golden rule, is to continue to, to practice social distancing and uh, stay, you know, uh, six feet away from from other other people. And, and when possible, um, I know in the northern region, um, there isn't as many cases, but still, I would I would wear a face mask uh, when you know when you can. I know not everyone can can wear a face mask, but uh, those who can, I, I'd encourage them to uh, wear a face mask when possible. It protects other people, and uh, likewise, if they were in a mask, it would protect uh, uh, the people they're around. Now, uh, something we've talked about in the past has been gas prices here in Northern Ontario. So this morning, uh, it's a dollar nineteen point six for a liter of regular unleaded in Thunder Bay. It's a dollar eight point six in Dryden, a dollar four point five in Kenora. What the heck is going on? Yeah, you, you know, so nothing burns me up more than these uh, gas companies trying to gouge the people, and it's just not right. How, how do you increase the price? I think uh, Toronto is eighty nine, sometimes ninety one, and it's a buck eighteen, buck nineteen uh, up up in the rural areas. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's unacceptable. Uh, people are, in my opinion, again, um, uh, people are getting gouged when it comes to this. I know Minister Rickford's all over uh, these companies, but it's really the federal jurisdiction. Uh, we what we did we ended up when we came into office we lowered the gas prices we took down the cap and trade the the tax off it uh, by I think it's four point seven uh, cents but you know all of a sudden you turn around and they're they're just jacking it up it's in my opinion that that's what happens you have four or five big uh, companies and, and and we we have to uh, get the feds to look into it they're they're gouging people uh, but it doesn't seem to be very frank they're they're moving too quick. Again, that's what thirty percent higher. That's that's, that's uh, absolutely ridiculous, unacceptable in my opinion. Now, a question I had from a couple of our readers this morning: uh, they contacted us about uh, the hospitals and indigenous ceremony during birthing. Uh, it's something probably more for the minister of health. But what can be done to allow some of these very seriously important? spiritual issues for indigenous people to happen in our hospitals well I, 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 good point I, I think we have to uh, talk to the minister of health and the health table to see if uh, they'll, they'll allow it uh, it is important it's important to the indigenous community it's important to uh, any community that have uh, spiritual uh, areas that they want to you know they want to talk about or, or or if there's a special ceremony I think it's important. That's why we uh, were able to open the, the churches uh, as well and, and get people going because uh, places of uh, worship are, are important to people. Uh, they they need to go and, and uh, speak to their spiritual leaders. I, I think it plays an important role in our, our community and our province. Now, you've been working uh, extra hard. We've seen you every day in Queen's Park doing an update for media and answering questions. When can we expect you up in the northern part of the province? Well, I'm going to be going on a little tour of the province and uh, over the next month, two months. Um, I'd love to get up there. I feel right at home in, in, in Thunder Bay. We've done a tremendous amount of uh, things for the people up in, in Thunder Bay. I remember I first went up there for Resolute Paper, which is a big employer. 
Uh, we gave them tens of millions of dollars. Uh, also up there with Bombardier, uh, we ended up pushing for the orders for the, the transit requirements to make sure people uh, were, were employed and continue being in, employed. And and we uh, there's there's a whole raft of uh, items here. I have the infrastructure that uh, we put two and a half a million dollars for uh, broadband, which is so important to the people in the, in the northern region, along with making sure that we keep uh, the buses flowing from Thunder Bay to uh, to Winnipeg. That, that's critical. People need to get around from point A to, to point B. And we're also uh, putting a large investment into building a new jail. There's been a lot of uh, issues, an antiquated uh, a system up there that uh, we, we need to support uh, the, the front line correctional services officers as, as well. But we're going to continue uh, supporting the people of Thunder Bay. And I guess my, uh, I usually don't say political statements, but I, I'm going to uh, right now, James. Uh, we're doing everything we can in supporting Thunder Bay. And, uh, you know, I, I couldn't even, to be very frank, if it wasn't for Greg Rickford, I don't even know who your local MPP is. They, they don't speak up. They don't say anything. I don't know if it's an NDP or a liberal, but I just uh, asked the people of Thunder Bay, uh, have a loud voice uh, down at Queens Park. We'd love you to give us an opportunity next time. We're, we're showing the people of Thunder Bay um, how much they mean to us, and I'll be up there uh, once again uh, and, and listening to their concerns and bringing them back to Queens Park. But we need a, one of our local folks uh, to represent you down at Queen's Park. Premier, I want to thank you for taking the time, and we hope to thank see you, you up so on much, Thunder James. Bay. Can't wait. You take care. Thanks so much, James. Have a safe weekend. Stay informed and stay up to date. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Share this with a friend. Make sure you hit the little bell so you get notified the next time that we have a video up. Thanks for tuning in to Net News Ledger.